Hey everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a different type of color palette in your photos. So we're going to be going from this original image to this. Um, it is kind of a um, more frequent color scheme I've been looking and finding online. It's turquoise, uh, yellow, and pink and they're like muted tones. So. It is something that I see pretty often, and I'm just going to show you guys how to create your own kind of version of it. So the first thing that you are going to want to do, now this is also an optional layer. You don't have to have this layer. You can turn it off. Um, we are going to create a difference layer. I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we're going to go and create a solid color layer. Now this could be any gray color. And we can always change up what color it is at the end. Looking more brown. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. It's like you think, okay, gray is over here. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Now this is looking actual gray. So again, just a solid color layer and then we're going to go from normal to difference. Now obviously you don't want to keep it like this. We're going to be changing this by lowering the opacity to 14%. And as you can see, it's just giving it a faded, more faded out look. And again, this is an optional layer. Um, then we are going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And we're going to stay on the RGB layer. And I'm just going to tweak this just a little bit. And I always say this, but if you watch any of my other videos, Curves is like my favorite thing to, you know, experiment with and it is um, very important when you are doing, uh, when you're doing like editing and retouching and stuff like that. So I'm just going to keep this as is. And then we're going to make another layer. It's We're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we're going to go to photo filter. And for this, I have a specific color that I'm going to use. Now just type that in here and see <laughs> what it is because I forgot. Okay, let's see. And it's yellow, and that's the color that I remember. There we go. Just you don't have to pick that exact color. Uh, density, we're going to higher it just a bit to about 48, and. I'm going to select, I mean, keep this preserve luminosity. And we're just going to lower that opacity to about, we'll do like 60. 60 is okay. Okay, and now we are going to do another solid color layer. So we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, and then solid color. That's just another way of getting to it. You can select this button right here. And we're going to press OK. And we're just going to be adding uh, another color in here. And it is a reddish burgundy kind of color, I guess. I don't work on HGTV, so I don't know all these fancy colors. So um, we're going to be going from normal to screen on this one. And we're going to be lowering this to about 10%. And we're going to make one more color fill layer. Now, if you don't want to just keep going to the layer thing, you can simply press Command J and that will duplicate your layer. And then what I'm going to do is simply change the settings on the duplicated layer. So I'm gonna go from screen to overlay and I'm hiring the opacity on this one. And this is going to be a different color. Give it more of a yellow tone and I'm gonna keep it on overlay. The next layer that we're going to be using is another curves layer. So we're going to go layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And we're going to keep it on the RGB. And again, I'm just going to pull these up. I'm going to give it a little bit more contrast. Some people can color this in like one curves layer. And I'm like, oh, I'm not that advanced yet. I mean, I probably could, but I'm I'm really picky and I need to sit and fix everything every two minutes, so I think that's pretty good. 
And we are going to lower this to about 75%. Just a tiny bit of contrast, as you can tell. And the next layer we are going to select is the layer, and adjustment layer, and then hue saturation. And I'm just adding a bit of color, but I'm, I changed the hue so it's, it just changed up the tones a little bit. And then the next layer we're going to use is layer new adjustment layer and then channel mixer, which is really going to help in this case. Um, okay, so I'm going to have the output channel. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're selecting monochrome. So that it give, I was looking for the gray layer and I was like, why is there no gray layer? Um, so we are selecting the gray layer and I am going to be switching these up a little bit. Plus 20 and then negative. Okay. And then we are going to lower the opacity to about 8%. I need it to be 8. I don't know. I wrote 8 down so I have it has to be 8%. And I'm just desaturating what we've already done. Then one last curves layer. After that. This one's fairly simple. So I just added like a contrasted layer over everything that we just did. And then we are going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and selective color, which will essentially be giving us those colors, muted colors, the ones that we want. So I'm going to go to the yellows. And this is, the yellows or the greens will help you achieve this uh, look. But, I mean, I like to prep the image first and kind of get it to where I want it to be and then add this. Now, as you can see, if I just play with it, I'll show you guys. If I just lower the yellows, it's already giving me that muted color look. I can keep it like this if I want. So, it's really just your preference. Um, I see a lot of wedding photographers using that muted color look, especially the greens. So, that's why I kind of wanted to show you guys how to do that. So this is kind of how mine turned out. Now, um, I'm going to be adding another selective color layer on top of this one. This is kind of like my base. So I'm going to go back to the new adjustment layer and then select another selective color. And the reason why I'm doing this is I want it to be a little, I wanted a base, a foundation for, and then I could build on that. So I will show you exactly how that works out rather than just having one layer. So the reds, I do reds, yellows, and greens, mostly. And again, you could achieve this with just that first selective color layer right here, but I'm going the extra mile because I wanted kind of a different look. So it just I'm just making those greens pop a little bit more. And then the last layer I'm using is the new adjustment layer and then hue saturation one more time. And this time I'm going to go from master to greens. And this is going to kind of give you more control over what kind of hue saturation you want your greens to be. And I am going to fill this little thing out. So essentially, I changed it from being that green color to this. More, it's like more blue, as you can tell. And I'll show you if I higher the saturation, I can control if I really don't want any saturation in that blue uh, green color, then I can remove it. And also from this, you can change exactly what kind of color you want it to be. There's just, There's a lot you could do with that. 
And of course, as I said before, this color fill layer is completely optional. You can switch it on and off depending on what kind of look you want. If you want it a little bit more film-like and less contrasted, you could keep this color fill. And I'll show you exactly how it looks if you switch it around, if you use different gray color. It's really cool. Um, you can really add different things to this layer, to that difference layer that we first created. So uh, this is essentially the entire look without these foundation layers. It really wouldn't be as put together as it is. And that's a before and that's after. And I'm just going to be taking this thing off right here so you guys can see the contrasted look. So that is before and that's after. And again, the two selective color layers were very important for this because otherwise it wouldn't have been so impactful. It would have just been like this. So a second selective color layer was very helpful. Hopefully, hopefully this was uh, helpful to you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching.